Hey guys, welcome back. Jet Scott here as always. And man, this is really starting to become a very repetitive thing. I did this in the last video. And I'm like, promised myself before I filmed this one. I was like, we're not going to do that same shit. Guess what I just did? I just did it again. But today, um, and I'm really energetic for some reason. What the hell's going on with me? That's better. <laughs> so I guess I'm just excited to get to work on this baby. Um, I told you in the past couple videos, I went and picked up a Sioux valve grinding machine, and here it is. We actually went to Harbor Freight, got us a U.S. General car tool, or car to uh, uh, cart, tool cart. And these are all my stones and attachments and everything, along with the drills and other things down there. This did not come with the original base, and as we found out, this cart here is literally perfect for my height. I'm six foot tall. I don't need this. But, you know, you stand right here, and I'm literally right here working on this baby. No hunching over, no nothing. But this machine, see, I've been getting pretty good with her practicing. I got different. I got emery cloth, scotch bright, steel wool right there for cleaning and polishing parts. Everything seems to work pretty good. The chuck works. The quick release works. Just getting this machine cleaned up, running again has done it just a million miles worth of good we did have one issue was when we first got to run it has these countersunk allen head bolts in here this one came loose actually no it was this one they no no i can't remember one of them came loose scared the piss out of me and when i went to go try to put this one back in it stripped off so i tig welded a nut on there and now it's bueno muy bueno awesome but everything on this machine works pretty good you can sit here and spin that baby for days we got oil in the system this machine's pretty freaking awesome you know a lot of these are really notorious for having chuck or wobble in these chucks this one seems to be pretty concentric we got our diamond stone cutter for dressing the old stones it's all set up here whirl that baby around loosen that up I am by no means an expert with this machine, but I am definitely learning. You tighten that down, that goes up against that, and then you use the machine, use this here lever to move this table here in and out. That dresses this stone, in case it gets a little wobbly, and you can loosen that nut and that nut, and you can change at what angle you grind your valves at right now it was at 30 of course this isn't tight that's at 45 or 44 45 50 you know it, it, lots of adjustment on this old girl in fact my wrench is gone but this machine has one big problem and it's with the electric motor underneath that cover the old original motor is a little bit weak and when i say weak i can show you We'll plug her in, power's on, you pull the power switch down here, yeah, dims the lights and everything. The motor could be the startup capacitor, but we've even had this baby, we've uh, done something, I can't remember what the hell dad did, dad's smarter than me as far as when it comes down to electrical stuff, pretty sure it's literally just the motor itself. Um... What you can do, and the guy, the guy's son that we bought this from, he showed me how to start this thing, and it's a little sketchy, a little dangerous, but I'm going to demonstrate it for you. And in fact, I got a nice cut on my hand, but I'll show you how we start it. I apologize, guys. I accidentally deleted the footage that you're about to watch, and this stupid program wants me to pay to recover this footage. But I'm sticking it to them because I got a camera and a lot of extra SD cards, so enjoy. Alright, so, little warning here, I may lose a finger. But, uh, this is all for science and for entertainment. So what you gotta do, slip off the old pump belt. These belts need replaced anyways. Slip off the actual grinding belt. Wrap that around there. This is where it gets sketchy. There you go. And now you gotta take this belt. And we'll 
job is get her started. You click on there. And then we'll take our oil pump belt. Come on. There we go. Now work you some bitch, there it is. Input scoop. And now she is spewing the oil. Of course, those belts need to get tension back up properly. But just spew oil. We'll come out to this side. Get this shit out of the way. Spew oil. We just have motor oil in this right now. We're going to get some proper valve grinding oil. Or I've seen some guys use ATF, whatever we need. But mainly just trying to get the system flushed out and all that stuff. But everything works really good on the machine once you get the motor going. So let me show you what we got to fix this baby up. I guess before we do this, I'll show you this. Click the off button. Once that motor gets going, it could be that capacitor actually. I don't know. There was something dad did and it said the capacitor wasn't no good. But the fact that you can kill the machine before it stops completely it'll get going again see if we let it die die can't start so could very well be the capacitor but what we got is we looked up the part number and everything on this here electric motor don't mind my oil shield looked up all the numbers on it why are these covers always missing it just bothers the heck out of me looked it up we found an nos motor on the ebay the ebay it's got the wrong pulley. This is a very, we're only a half horsepower. This thing is huge. In fact, here's a dominator carburetor next to it. It's a giant motor. But, uh, I mean, this thing literally is like new. It's gorgeous. But, uh, the idea is either to swap the pulleys over and put this whole brand new unit on there. Or maybe to swap the capacitor over. I doubt the capacitor is going to fix it. I think I'm going to work on I just want to go ahead and get the whole new motor on there. We got it. Might as well use it. And we got other things we can use that motor for that won't nearly take as much draw on it. Like my little baby Craftsman air, air compressor. <laughs> this thing is adorable. I mean, literally, that's my hand next to it. I restored this thing. Oh, shoot. A couple weeks ago. Works good. It's tiny. Don't know what the hell it's used for, but couldn't pass it up. 20 bucks on eBay. Stupid crap I buy. So I'm going to get to work, get these belts pulled back off, get this motor off, and see if we can get it all swapped out. So stay tuned. Alrighty, well, we got our motor off. And there's a good look at what the machine looks like without the electric motor. Very barren. I bet you this thing weighs probably about 40 pounds less. You won't believe how heavy that damn motor is. So we got it on the bench next to our old one or with our new one. So obviously the major difference is in the pulleys. We're going to be very careful taking this one off because it is aluminum. But if you listen to the pulley itself, there's clicking. That's this bad boy. That's how it's supposed to sound. I'm by no means electrician, electrical motor kind of guy. I really don't know what the hell I'm doing, I'll be honest. But you know what? We're going to get this pulley swapped over and hopefully not destroy it. I'm going to be very careful with this. This is a special pulley. It's got an inner pulley, big aluminum guy, another outer pulley. So we're going to be very gentle. There is a set screw. We're going to get that set screw, get them both out, get our pulley puller out, and hopefully, you know, just... Gonna ease her off nice and gentle wish me luck alrighty guys so everything swapped over including our little hose holders for our oil line that went over actually pretty smoothly got the pulley puller grabbed it from in here where the casting is thick don't pull from out here you'll destroy things ask me how I know <laughs> oh Christ we're power steering pump did survive one time but we got her swapped over we will probably repurpose this one like I said that little air compressor at some point so we make it work so now we just got to wire it up 
get everything bolted down, get all the tension set up just right on the pulleys or on the belts. Eventually get new belts, get new fluid for the machine. We'll be able to rock and roll. So I'm going to get it reassembled and hopefully that fixes our issue. Well, and we're back. We got dad now. Someone may have been this guy. Got a little nuts uh, with tightening the terminals on the switch and broke the plastic on the switch. But, uh, yeah. So, we're here getting ready to try and make something else work. So, what other kind of switch has four terminals on it, Dad? Uh, double pole. A light switch. <laughs> hopefully, a light switch will do it. So, hopefully, we can maybe make it work off that. If we can make this switch work, We'll find a way to mount it inside that box and maybe figure something else out. And then we could grind down the old lever here, hook up the, there's no way we can hook up that factory deal. How small that slot is. Well, we could put a little link. Oh, we could put a link in there, yeah. Like a link, drill a hole in that. Yeah. And then have a little link between that and that. Yeah, because that little slot in there is really small. So we're gonna see if we can make this old, this new motor work and hopefully it will. All right, dude. Oh, come on. Yep, Hillbilly Hotep is all wired up. She gonna work? No, no, I ain't smoking yet. It's actually working. It's kind of got a little groove to it. Oh, oh wait. I don't know. It was working. Oh, turn your oil on. The oil ain't gonna. Really? I didn't know if the pump was building pressure, deadheading like that. I don't think so. Motor's still dying out on us. Mm -hmm. Like it's got way too much load on it or something. All right, oil pump's disconnected. Let's see. That sounds better. Oh yeah, we gotta tighten that up a little bit. Look at that belt. She's a, she's dancing. That's a lot healthier sounding. Well, maybe like something to do with the oil pump. Think so? Maybe that oil is just too thick. Maybe. You know, it is just motor oil. Yeah. What are you supposed to use? Uh, there's a special valve grinding shit. I've seen guys use ATF. We probably just need to order some of that proper, you know, quick way lube or whatever it is. That sounds a lot better. Tighten that belt up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you can't it ain't squealing or nothing. Well, I just don't like it bouncing like that. It's kind of, kind of scary. Tire you? Well, it's got to put that cover on. Yeah, I know. But the tighter you make it, the harder it is on the bearings on the motor. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's spinning as fast as the old one was. It's supposed to be the same exact motor. It is the same exact motor. At least it's supposed to be. Half horsepower, 5KC, 43MG, 3E. We'll come over here to our original. This baby would run the oil pump no problem. 5KC 43MG3E, half horsepower, same man thing. Same thing about, they don't, they don't have that little sticker on. No. Nope. It's funny how this motor wouldn't start on its own, but it would run that motor oil just fine through the pump. That guy, she trips out. I'm almost starting to think we need to Frankenstein these two together. Really? The motor oil is an issue. It, it goes everywhere. But she's running. This ain't got no oil pumping. For anybody who might have something to say about, you know, like the pump's bad, about the rattling, put your hand on the bottom of it. Rattle goes away. Don't know why it's tripping out. See, like right now, it's running just fine. Everything's working fucking awesome. Lights working. 
We can switch the feed over. The ATF's working a lot better. It's nice and fluid, a lot thinner. It ain't dying yet. I'm waiting for it to die. Maybe. I did clean a lot of crap out of that pump. What is it? Hopefully. Well, we're gonna let her sit here and run, but hey, we gotta run it again. The new motor's on even if it is a pile of crap. Yeah. Even if that motor's a pile of crap, I don't care. <laughs> we need a piece of rubber underneath that. That's getting annoying, that rattle. But hey, we did it, Dad. Yes, that's so much better. Sounds like a sewing machine. But we'll get her figured out, guys. Whatever the hell is going on with this old motor, we'll figure out. And there will be more to be seen with this old Sioux valve grinder in the near future. So I hope you enjoy this little video. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Before we go. <clears throat> no, we're not leaving the switch like this. I don't know. We might, actually. It ain't hurting nothing. We're, we're going to make this nice again, okay? So don't freak out, okay? It'll be fine. And we'll get the cover put back on. But we're having fun watching the machine run. It still ain't died yet. It's amazing. I'm waiting for it to die. Well, come on. I need to... Come on. Oh, wait. That's the glove that caused my fingernail here to get burned off. Yeah, fuck that glove. It can stay right there. Hey, get the other one in there. Maybe a little double glove action. A little double glove. They'll go to good use. I'll stop using them if we use it for this. Hey, look at that. You folded it up nice. Look at that shit. A little query technology. Right next to that drive shield. There we go. Perfect. <laughs>